back by popular demand. Well, no, not really. Someone just, not someone, multiple people have asked me to um, give an update on Acrea Network. Now, the reason they're asking for an update is because they can't get an update from the project themselves. I'm just going to be straight up with you. The Telegram chat is full of moon boys. It's ridiculous. Um, now, I originally put a video up on Acrea Network. Actually, I was probably the second person in the YouTube sphere to put one up. That was after seeing Donovan Jolly put one up. Um, I put it out really quickly, and it was just to get it out there, which I stated on the video, that, hey, this is supposed to be like the chain link of Polkadot. And I said that I would follow up after I could do some more um, fact-finding. And I did that and explained how you could purchase it. Now, since then, I've done a few follow-up videos, each of those because I've been asked to do so, um, because I don't mind to dig in and try to find that information. But there are a number of people concerned about the project. While I did tell you that there were moon boys in the chat, um, this project is a head scratcher for a couple of reasons. Uh, what I do want to point out is my main point of doing this one is um, now I have not called this a scam. I was asked to do an update by several people, so I'll give you what I can. I'm not saying that there's much. Um, I continue to hear about how the project, as far as the team leader, um, I don't even know if you want to say leader. I only know of there being one person on the team, and that's Dominic. I'm not sure. Also, there is, I will say Donovan Jolly is the CMO. There's my disappointment there, um, and I'll explain that. But first of all, real quick, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to show you a couple of things in this video today about Accurate Network, and some of the conferences that they have said Dominic spoke at, which he did. I'm going to also show you uh, the German Innovation Award. Just something there that for me is, I don't want to say questionable, but I think it's a good question that I'm asking. And if any of you all know, I would love to know. So those are a couple things. But I think it's real important to just highlight, when we're talking about getting into a new project, there's just a couple things that are fundamental. And if you don't have those fundamental things, yet you're talking about how it's going to the moon, you're just not very good at picking projects or you're just not an investor. It's just that simple. What's the supply? And before that, what does the project do? We know what Accurate Network does. It is an oracle. We also know that it has competition. Polka Oracle, which I mentioned, previously. Also, not just Polka Oracle, it has Kylan Network. Now, as far as social media, I want to say that when it comes to Telegram and Twitter, Acura Network has right around 3,400 followers, if I'm correct. So, that being said, we take a look at Kylan Network, which on Twitter has nearly 50,000. Polkadot is all about interoperability. So while Acura Network is supposed to be interoperable and cross-chain, well, Kylan Network and Polka Oracle, who is actually just rebranded, is also cross-chain, right? So they have a head start. And the biggest thing about this project is the communication is awful. It's terrible. And there's even people, which you'll see the comments throughout this video, there's even people who have been a part of it since early on, which I got involved early myself, who say, hey, look, the communication is unacceptable. Now, you're hearing things now about how Dominic, the 
founder can't say certain things because of German law. It's just all kinds of excuses. Look, if you go on ICO drops, we can look for projects. Now, that doesn't mean that they're all there. I mean, some ICOs may not be on there, but what we can see is it started in whatever the date is, and it ends on this, or it's open for three days, or, I mean, I heard about some ICOs today, and it says, hey, they're starting on these dates. The pre-ICO is here. The the next level is here. So we're talking about a project in Akron Network that has been open-ended for six months. It's not acceptable. Um, anyone can say it is, but then again, it's getting to the point where you either are doing the work and know how to pick a good project or you don't. My take right now on Acura Network is there were way better projects to put your money in because simply because of the clarity. I'm not talking about what the project is saying it will do. That is fantastic. A cross-chain Oracle, many people saying the chain link killer, that's a lie. It's not, it's not a chain link killer. It's not. But I'm not saying the project still won't do good, but we have to come to facts with what we're seeing. And the communication and the business end of the project is terrible. Something I mentioned earlier about the things you just want to know, the token supply. Now, many people in the chat have come to the idea, and I know how they got it, because you can kind of do the math. And that it's supposed to be two hundred and ninety million. The project should tell you specifically. You shouldn't have to have people doing all kinds of math to figure it out. They should be telling you what's the total supply. Who else is on the team? I know the CMO is Donovan Jolly, who I think has done two videos. By the way, I think I have more videos on Acura Network after putting this one out, maybe than the founder himself. That's not a good thing. You have to have social presence. I'm just trying to give you facts here. Um, I believe Donovan Jolly's done two videos now. He went cold turkey, and no one heard from him for a while after that first time he put the video out about it, saying that he was involved in the project, but it appears more so than involved, he took money to talk about the project. And the reason I'm disappointed is, is because I've seen Donovan as someone trustworthy but I just don't believe that you do it that way. For example, there is another video by Voscoin. I have nothing bad to say about Voscoin. Great content. It is a sponsored video. And by the way, he told you that as he should. So Acura Network has a sponsored video by Voscoin. Donovan Jolly should have said the same thing. It's basically sponsored. Don't act like you're a part of the team, like you're one of the developers put a video out, and then go cold turkey when people are asking you about it. Is anything I'm saying a lie? And like I said, the only reason I'm bringing, even doing this video, because obviously these videos take time, is because I was asked by several people, and I think it's important. And I do think, as I show you here in just a second, just some of the stuff about the awards, it does raise a couple of other questions. But there's just too many things about this project that we just don't know. We, we haven't been told the total supply we don't know when it launches i mean there's people in the telegram vouching saying it should be or it might be it's not acceptable tell me what about acura network is is excellent tell me what you do know i mean when we say it's going to the moon tell me other than the idea and us knowing that Chainlink is a heck of a project, what tells us it's going to the moon? Do you know how many ICOs have come and gone since January? In this project, they haven't even said when it's going to launch. At this point, people are calling it a scam, and there are people in the chat who have been invested in this who are saying, hey, I need information, but... They're just not getting it. And that's what's disappointing. So is it a scam? I don't want to say it's a scam only because, look, Dominic is doing interviews with other projects. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people do interviews with, you know, other project 
leaders because they're trying to get exposure. But he's also speaking at conferences. And the thing about conferences is, just like the Miami conference with Bitcoin, many people can attend these conferences and speak. So we have to be careful when we're touting someone as the, you know, the best of the best because they're at a conference. But the thing that's not happening is there's no clarity or real roadmap on what the heck is going on with the project. And frankly, at this point, we're talking six months. Now, the market has come back down, but there was a point where basically putting your money in this project was like a slap in the face because you could have made money in anything else. I had mentioned a couple months ago where, you know, 300 had turned to three grand in Uniswap. And at the same time, 300 is still 300 in this project. Why? Because it hasn't launched and it hasn't went anywhere. So that's my point is at some point, it, you look, it's okay to get excited about projects, but being a moon boy doesn't get you paid. Picking good projects and cutting your losses when you should is how you do it if you're an investor. So real quick, just check out um, a little bit of information I do have on the awards uh, that Acrea Network did win. Um, just my thoughts on it. And you can let me know what you think in the comments. So Acrea Network did win the German Innovation Award. But I do want to make a couple points about that. I would have liked to have seen the nominees. So what you do have to understand is it's not like it's just all of these competitors are in one group. There's many different groups. So they're in the business to business section that they were competing in. And something of note is there's a, there's one for food. There's literally multiple different sections that you could compete in. And uh, what I'll do, I will uh, bring that up so you can see it. But I would have liked to see the nominees so that I know in this particular one, since they're in blockchain technology, who were their competitors? Was their section just the blockchain technology section? So similar to the Grammys where you do get to see who wins, but you also get to see the nominees. I did see where you can see all the competitors in a specific section, but I want to know the specific groups or projects or teams that Acrea Network was going directly against for the award that they won. And I wasn't able to find that. Um, maybe some of you all can. And if you can, certainly let me know because I'd like to see that. So let's scroll down real quick. These are all of the um, various um, teams and projects that were a part of it. And you can see three rows down right here. We have Acrea Network. So um, a lot of people involved and teams involved in this for sure but yes um these are legitimate teams competing um they appear to be teams from all different sectors with different innovations so i, I certainly think that's good and as i said it's not a slight towards the project whatsoever um, there's just some things as far as who they were competing against that I would have liked to uh, to know a little bit more about. So I'm not going to scroll slowly through the whole thing, but I am going to just go down real fast because I don't want you to see how many people are competing. But I do want to note again that all of these aren't competing within the same area. They're broken down into different sections based on the type of project that it is. So as you can see, there's there's um, tons of them. Now, something else that I definitely want to point out that I thought was, uh, you know, very interesting is right here. Registration service fees for award winners. Now, let me know if this is normal. Um, I was a little um, surprised at this, but it looks like if you do win that you actually pay for maybe the marketing package or somewhat you pay to be associated as the winner 
because it's going to help your project, which I found kind of um, different. That may be normal. Let me know. But it's not cheap by any means. So before I go over the different tiers that you would pay and also understand there's a registration that you would pay, which I would expect because to put on these awards uh, ceremonies and things like that and to have the judges and things like that it is going to cost money. So but on the back end is what kind of surprised me. So special mention is, uh, as you can see down here, thirty one hundred and fifty euros. So that's not cheap by any means. Um, that's thirty seven hundred and thirty seven U.S. dollars. Uh, for the special mention, and as you can see, use the special mention label for your communication measures. Receipt of two personalized winner documents. Exclusive access to marketing services for the German Innovation Awards 2021. Uh, basic public relations around the German Innovation Awards. Basic communication and content marketing around it. So as you can see, when you win, you actually pay, and it's like you pay for the marketing because I guess to have that symbol of the German Innovation Awards will help your project. So I find that pretty interesting. Let me know if that's normal. Um, real quick, I'll just show you the other uh, categories. We have winner right here. We have 3,450 euros. Um so that's 4093 US dollars. And then you come down here, we have gold. And these are similar. Of course, those packages are a little bit bigger as you, you know, get to the gold level. And with gold, that's 4,450 um, euros. And uh, that's 5,279 US dollars. So to me, the German Innovation Award seems like it really helps these teams to garnish publicity, but you do pay for it. Now, if that is not correct, please let me know. And as I said, I'll say it again, it's nothing against the award. But I do think it's important if we are touting certain things for a project, then there needs to be a good explanation of um, those different things to make sure that they are legitimate and to see how they came about. We have the AIBC conference. Um, this is something else that in the Telegram and different places, um, this is mentioned to add validity to Acrea Network Project. But there is something I want to point out about what it says about the speakers that I think is important. And so right here, want to get involved as one of the speakers for the AIBC conference, then reach out so you can reach them about speaking. I'm going to leave you with this. Now, several people have asked about a refund. Um, now, we all know crypto projects do not give refunds. But guess what? In this project, at some point, they were given refunds. Even that is, is kind of crazy. But as far as a refund, there is a email address that you can as for a refund at is what I did see in the telegram. This was months ago. I did see where a couple of people said they got it. And then this week I saw where some people said the email was coming back to them. So I'm not sure. I did not try to confirm that. So I'm not sure that you can get a refund. My take on this project is, um, and I do hope it does well. I hope all these projects do well. I have no reason to hate on projects. I am extremely disappointed in the communication on this project. And because of that, even if it did become what it said it would, I'm not confident in the project. I'm not confident in the business side. So even if the technology works, right now I feel like we've got a project that's got a one-man band that's running it, that's trying to get it out there through YouTube, which is fine. That's marketing. But... I am not convinced that anyone, anyone with the project understands how to communicate effectively. And if you can't communicate effectively and can't handle the social media aspect of the project yourself by being known, being seen, having a presence, 
the project's not going to do that well in the long in the long run unless they get better at it. Will they? I don't know. That remains to be seen. I know that this wasn't much help because there's not that much information out there. But you know, it is what it is. You make the best decision for you. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Before you invest, make sure you seek the help of a professional. Thanks for watching Perry Unlikely. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and I'll see you next time.